as you've heard, welcome back to Pikmin 4. In the last episode, we were able to hit our new goal with Sparklium and upgrade our radar. So we're probably heading to a new area today. I'm very excited to look into it. But before we do, I figure we'll talk to some of the other people around here. So yeah, let's get to it. Improve your abilities just a little each day. In time, it'll add up and you'll be stunned by what the two of you are capable of. All right, let's chat. I consider myself real lucky to have a scientific genius like Russ around. Oh yeah, so we heard about this before. So it seems like they don't have any things to say every day, just maybe every couple of days. That's the spirit, let's get started then. So we only have one pup drive at the moment. There is new things like learn doggy paddle level two. So it looks like even though we can't upgrade every day, we are getting things to upgrade every day. Cool. So. We'll get back to that soon enough. I'll try to get into new caverns in today's episode so that we can actually get some upgrades. Kihi, <laughs> I've created a new item. Well, I developed a prototype with the materials I had on hand. You have to come see for yourself. All right then, so yeah, let's go visit the lab. Kihi, <laughs> let's get started. So I think that, oh, there is a, quite a few new things. We got the anti-electrifier, an extra layer that doesn't conduct electricity. You need not fear lightning when it can't ever reach you. The anti-electrifier, with it, this gear equipped, Ochi can't be electrocuted. It redirects the electricity with the power of induction. And then we have the homesick signal. When your Pikmin go missing, call them back to the SS Beagle. This works on any Pikmin not currently in your squad. That would be very useful. I think that we've been saving up specifically for the idler's alert. Um, whenever there's an idle Pikmin that's not around, it should call them to us, which would be really, really useful. And you can sort of see that right over here. They just all come running over. So I think we'll work with this one. It's it's 80, we have 131, so we can afford it. So there we go, Our request is complete, and we now have that. I don't really know how to use it just yet, but we'll figure it out later on. We also have over here the mine, whoa. When this bomb senses the movement of a creature, it explodes, key. You can even stick it to those pesky creatures. Oh my gosh. That is gruesome. So you can just throw it on someone and explode them. So we'll get one of those as a practice. It's a bomb that explodes when it detects motion from living things. Plus it's kind of sticky. Try attaching it to, to a creature. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Well, that was very cool. But for right now, we'll just sort of run around. Are you doing okay? I still can't really talk to you, huh? Um. Well, in the meantime, yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we can try to get these pellets, but it doesn't really do much. They'll just respawn over time. Um. We have you. Oh yeah, we just rescued you last last time around, yesterday. Damo, my name's Damo. The moment I heard about the creatures of this planet, I knew I had to come to learn more about them. I dream of compiling everything we learn about the ecology of each fierce little darling here into some kind of field guide. All right then, let's view the Picklepedia. If I hadn't gone stranded, imagine how many cute little cr critters I would have encountered by now. It's almost embarrassing that I came here to learn about them and haven't laid on eyes on a single one. Wait. You must encounter all kinds of creatures in your explorations. Please, tell me everything about them. Naturally, I'll prepare a token of my gratitude, anything to learn more about more of these sweet feral muffins. <laughs> Cute. Wow, well, you've done this much already. You're not to be underestimated, are you? So I guess we already cleared all the little darlings, find 25 species of creatures, clear. So we get 20 material for that. Yeah, honey. Wonderful, so many cutie patooties. <laughs> you must keep telling me about them. So our next one's gonna be 50, we're already at 33. So that's why I've been pretty diligent whenever I see a creature that I think is new, I've been trying to take them on. But here's the Picklepedia, you can see we found 33 of these creatures. Um, and there's like some little ones here that I do remember from like the Pikmin 3 and our playthrough with that one. Like there's probably a red spect spectral that we'll probably have to find at some point. Even even the Pikmin count, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, lots of things to find in that way. It's interesting that the pellet posy uh, and the burgeoning spider will count. Does that mean that they're not? I don't know. I guess it, it looks like they're still tracking plants as well. It's just sort of weird how it's different. How could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready to take another look. Good to know. Um, and over here, of course, we have um, you with the treasure catalog. Why, hello, how are you? The sun's shining, and you know what that means. It means it's a great day for treasure hunting. Um, let's chat. Do you know what a treasure gauge is? It's the type of gear that reacts when the treasure is nearby. Trust me, when it comes to the art of hunting for these valuables, it is quite essential. Please, when it comes to treasure, I encourage you to talk to me anytime. Well, we've found a lot of treasures, but I don't think we've quite reached your quest. So I guess we'll have to wait for that. And same thing with you over here. I don't think we actually hit 
the goal for that. So I guess we'll talk to you once we do, but it looks like um, Dingo wants to talk to us. Okay, Tenderfoot, let's see what you're made of. Yeah, don't give me that look. You can handle some extra credit work. Check out every inch of this planet until you've explored each area 100%. That's my goal. So investigate one area 100% is definitely something we'll get to eventually. Um, but in the meantime, that looks like everybody there is to talk to. So yeah, there we go. Some of the, the Pikmin are being made with that. We are just going to, oh, there's another pellet. Okay. Um, we're just gonna go and move on to, I guess maybe a new area? Hmm, that's interesting. I'm detecting even more signals in that recently discovered area. That may be where Captain Almar and our missing rescue officers are. All right then, let's go explore it. Can you go? Which area would you like to explore? So, we have Sun Speckled Terrace, Blossoming Arcadia, and the brand new area that we unlocked with 4,000 Sparkleum will be Serene Shores. According to that radar, there are several SOS signals in this new area. And of course, there is still some new stuff here. Um, I think what we'll start with is that um, it says that there's a new Pikmin here. Like you can see we have the three Pikmin um, on the little icon there. There's four Pikmin, one of them has a question mark. Uh, I think that we definitely need to return to these areas and get them more thoroughly completed. So I think for today, we'll go to Serena Shores. We'll try to explore around. Next time around, we'll, we'll try to do Blossoming Arcadia to get that final pigment. So let's try Serene Shores. All right, well, off we go. It's exciting to see a whole new area at our disposal. Because there wasn't a ton of areas in Pikmin 3. I think there was only like four or five, right? But they were all jam-packed with tons of stuff. I wonder if that'll be the case here. If so, we, we, we're seeing quite a lot of them already. Whoa, so as expected, very beachy around here. Tons of sand castles and stuff, that's so cool. Whoa, and some new enemies to fight too. Whoa, we get to go underwater. We'll be experiencing a ton of new things here for sure. Hopefully we brought our swimming trunks. And we've made it. So first things first, we gotta go and get our pi Pikmin here. Uh, so I will just select 10 of each, and then just maybe just whatever I can of these guys. We need more yellow Pikmin. Hopefully we can get maybe a more diverse onion soon. Right now we can only produce red Pikmin with it, which makes me think maybe I should go back to look for that. I don't know where those will be. We have Blossoming Dunes as our first area over here. The first thing I noticed was way over here. I can't quite grab these as it currently is, because I don't think the Ice Pikmin can get them. I might be wrong, but the Ice Pikmin can swim, but they can't really do too much with it. So what if I were to freeze the water like this? But now I can't get under there. So that's where we just need blue Pikmin. And especially in an area like this, it's really gonna need blue Pikmin for us to go into the water. Ice is about to melt, that's okay. Because there's so much stuff in the water and things to do in that way that it does make me a little bit confused on like wh where we actually find them. Maybe they're actually in Blossoming Arcadia. But in the meantime, we have missions here that are updated. Our side mission, of course, investigate areas one. Investigate areas one 100%. Investigate each area until your progress reaches 100%. Remember to explore caves and collect all the treasure too. This should be easy peasy for our star rookie. And then all the little darlings too. Um, I guess you've used a pen. Oh, I didn't mean to. So then, I guess I don't need to tell you that it's easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin it and unpin it. I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objectives and progress. I didn't really even mean to pin that one. I'm excited to learn all about the creatures of this planet. Let me know when you encounter a new species. It would be a dream to come true, a dream come true to record every last one in the Picklepedia. So back to this, Rescue the Rescue Corps is what I'm mostly focused on. Um, what is that? Is it gonna be an enemy? I think it might be. Uh, you check it out. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's one of the creepy crabs. New creature discovered. Let's speed it up as much as we can. There we go. That actually wasn't so bad. Whoa, they put some of them in bubbles. We gotta, th we gotta save them. There we go. <laughs> Poor little Pikmin. Um, oh, no, one of them got run over. Two of them got run over by this rock that's coming down. Um, I think what might be easier then is to ride Ochi and get up there. Whoa, watch it. Who is sending these down? They gotta be careful. Here comes another. Oh, not so good. I'm so sorry, guys. Everybody get back together, get back together. Watch out. No. Who's doing this? We gotta put a stop to it. This is clearly not a natural feature. Um, and then there's another water thing here. I wonder who could have built it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, we gotta move over here. Gotta be careful. Um, and try to fight this thing as much as possible. We're gonna go ahead and charge it with 
everything I got. That should help it. Ooh, they are really doing a number on our Pikmin over here. Um, There we go, there we go. Come on, we're almost through ya. But you left. Uh, what do we do now? I hit. You get back here. Come on, come on, that's it. Another enemy defeated, and that'll mean a lot less of those boulders to deal with, which I'm happy about. See, let the Pikmin just lift that back, and we'll keep going up here where, whoa, that's a ferocious looking creature. I don't mind trying that, but, oh, they went this way. Okay, I can't really do too much with this, can I? I mean, I guess maybe the ice Pikmin can deal with it. No, wait, wait, oh, they're all wet. Huh. Let's wait for it to sort of spurt up again. And then throw these Pikmin over as much as we can. And then I, I guess we'll just do it this way. They don't like getting wet, which is weird because they can handle being wet. Okay, go again. Just send everybody I can over. We'll slowly break this and this will just make it easier to deal with. Come on, come on, come on. And got it, cool. That just makes it a little bit easier to make our way around. I do see a lot of um, the nectar here that I can use to bloom the Pikmin. I just wanna make sure that that happens for all the Pikmin that need it. It looks like it did. So, we got some stuff brought over there. How do we use our our thing? Here we go, the Idler's Lawyer. If we use that right now, all those Pikmin come running over. That's so nice. So while they're running over, I guess we could check out some other stuff. Like, will they come back to where I used to radar, or will they come back straight to me? Here they come. <laughs> I'm just really curious at this point. But, uh, once they do, they come right where the signal was alerted. So that's really good to know. I think that might be one of the most useful pickups we've gotten so far. But over here on this thing, I might be able to just you know, knock this off. Oh no, watch out for the rocks. This might be a bit of an issue. Um, so we'll pick up this treasure in a moment. What I wanted to do is fight this thing first. So yeah, just do this, charge up. Oh, it's frozen, everybody go at you. That was a really cool thing to do, awesome. So back over here, just get whatever Pikmin we can to bring that fruit back. I don't think we've gotten that one yet, so that's pretty cool. And then over here, I think we wanna do that same strategy where it's a bunch of ice Pikmin first to freeze you and then charge you, boom, break you up. That's got it, amazing. So we're doing really good so far when it comes to taking enemies. Whoa, Ochi drank it up too. <laughs> cool, so let's send a bunch of Pikmin to go get all of this material, if not anything else. Go. I might wanna use the idle signal then. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, because I'm out of uh, Pikmin at the moment. So if I go back to my pack, we can go and use the idler's alert, and I'll just call any idle Pikmin over to that location. Cool because there's plenty more to do around here. I guess I should send Ochi over there, pluck those Pikmin sprouts yet. I haven't, but it's a little far away. And you can see plenty of other stuff in the water over there. Let's get Ochi to dig. Gotta keep the Andori in mind. We don't wanna wait around for no reason. New treasure found. So once again, um, I will use the pack, call them over. So I just don't know if they're moving over at the moment. It's hard to tell. Uh, you can see plenty of other Pikmin around. And there's something over here. I think that's in the water, right? Maybe I'm wrong. We got a little star fruit there, which was cool. And OT's done digging. We got a lot more of these. Good job, buddy. Actually, I might have you drop it for now, um, just because there's so much to do here. I think, oh, come on, Ochi, I just wanna ride you. There we go. We'll probably send ourselves an Ochi back, because none of those Pikmin were idle. Okay, here's a couple of them. But I'm thinking they might run back to the dirt. Okay, no, okay. Not the dirt, but the, uh, whatever it's called. Now let's just grab whoever we can then and just get them to continue working on this. Yeah, you can see some gold up there. So we definitely have to head up that way. Trying to keep these picking busy. And they get some too. So it looks like just about everybody got what they were looking for. Maybe we can send a few more Pikmin over to this. And what's cool is that obviously we send all these guys over. They'll keep coming back and forth until all of this is found. So maybe I just need a couple on the job while we go focus on some other stuff. Like maybe that's just a better idea in general. So while they're working on that material, let's just keep whoa, moving around wherever we can. Cause where was that other treasure at? Should have been right over there. Did I miss it? Or maybe it was just where I couldn't quite reach cause it was underwater or something. Hard to tell from here. Yeah, I think it's under the water. 
No, we pass. Yeah, it's definitely under. Oh yeah, down there. So we might be able to freeze the water with that one and go inside. We'll get. I have to get a couple of ice picks in first, but um, I will do a little bit of a shortcut here. Maybe there it is. And I didn't see really anything else to do. Let's pluck these Pikmin, gather all the idle ones. Is there anything going on with the flowers back here though? It doesn't look like it. All right, but once these are all plucked, I might want to manage things a little bit differently because you know this is making a bunch of red Pikmin, which is great and all, but uh, we don't need 23 of them. So I think what would be better is if we got some more ice Pikmin out. The thing I'm concerned about though, obviously, is that we're running out of yellow Pikmin. If we can find some caves to hop into, we might be able to find some more. Is that who I think it is over there? We have the leafling again, and they have moss. So we gotta get over there too. So you know what? Over this way, I'm seeing a couple things going on that maybe we should start working on. First things first is that we're going to go over this way and maybe fight this enemy. Here we go, here we go. Come on, get rid of you. Not too bad. Oh wait, just one more, one more. Should do the trick. Or oh, they might have ate a Pikmin. Uh, I guess not. We'll get that creature back. And then over here, we need 17 pieces. So you guys do what you gotta do. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The tide is changing. Whoa. So all the water is gonna dry up or sort of get soaked up, I guess. Did the water just, the tide appears to ebb in, in the afternoon. That ought to make it a lot easier to explore now. That is so neat. So now we can actually get over there a whole lot easier. If we did just wanna swim over and, whoa, watch it, buddy. Um, Just deal with this now. I mean, I guess we could have done that before, but look who it is. The leafling is back and they're stealing another one of our friends. Ah, it's that leafling. Be careful, that could be the one who attacked Dingo. Yeah, that's definitely them, which means that could be Bernard on the ground next to them then we definitely have to save you. <laughs> oh no, it was really hard doing this before, so hopefully I can keep up with the competition this time. Whoever it is, we can't let them gar let, let them get turned into a leaf link. Follow them. All right, so I'll follow them. And a new cave was discovered as well, uh, which is this one. So battle in a box. Rescue the kidnapped castaway. Your Pikmin cannot join you. Unfinished task on the surface will be called off. That's fine, we're heading right in. Let's go and save a new friend. So. You have come again. Those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet, but if they grow the leaves, we can return them to life. I will, deter I will de determine if you have the strength to save them with a Dandori battle. But this time, there will be one more rule. Uh-oh. Whoa, this one's way bigger. One must be ready to change tactics at a moment's notice. This round, an object or creature's value can increase for a brief window. These higher values make them bonus finds. When you transport and collect the bonus finds, you earn double the points. Do you think you can out Dandori me? I sure hope so. So are we ready? Let's go. So first things first, we have these five Pikmin. I guess we need to turn these ice Pikmin into even more Pikmin, because it is an ice Pikmin onion as well. So they'll work on all that, and then we will, ooh, these guys are, Bonus fine, so we can get the double knockdown there. That was beautiful. Okay, uh, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's go and get this bonus fine cashed in. And then over here, do more of the same. So that should be good. While that's happening, I need to go get another bonus fine over here. We're just gonna charge right through you and go uh, one, two, three. Now, can I use? Oh yeah, my idle is alert to call everybody over. That might be a good idea. If they'll all rush over, just like this, and that way I don't have to run all the way over there, because it pauses it for both of us. A bonus find can help you a lot. I know. <laughs> it's interesting that he's giving us so, so many tips. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to freeze you a little bit, and then I might just charge at you like that, but we're fighting now. Um, so you know what? I don't know what to do here. Uh, I was thinking of just taking it myself. So, ooh. Here, let's go ahead and charge you out of the way. There we go, that sort of helps. Right? I think. Maybe I should dismount and just have that as like a little bit of extra. Did we get it? Did you get it? I don't know. I mean, it is important though to grab this extra. And then once again, we are going to, all the wrong buttons here. Hold on, pack. Idler's alert. There we go. We collected a bonus find here. Get them all over there. You can see a bunch more of the ice picking coming in this way. So that's where we can do that. 
We have all of that too. Very cool. And then over here, we can make a lot more Pikmin. The more Pikmin we make, the more Dandori we can achieve, right? I would hope so. Um, a bonus fine can help you a lot, I know. So, um, can even give you a big lead. Okay. Which, speaking of leads, at the moment, we are definitely doing pretty good. Uh, there we go, there we go, come on. Freeze them up, and then, ooh, what do I wanna do here? I think, once again, we will call our friends over. I'm really trying to make the most of this. So right now our bonus find is gonna be those orange fruits, a times three bonus find, actually. So, it could be really good. Throw all the ice Pikmin onto you as much as I can, and then I need to hop on you. Here, come on, come on, come on. No, come on. What's happening? Ride. Ooh, not good, not good. Poor OG. Ooh, come on, why? That is the dumbest thing. Come on, I'm just trying to, come on, no, no, no. I'm trying really hard to make this work, and I'm not playing it very well. There we go, there we go. Things are really getting started, uh, are only getting started. There we go. So let's go and deal with this now. If I could just get Ochi to charge it, that might be faster. It actually doesn't work that way. Okay, dismount and send. No, 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 everybody this way, this way, this way. This fruit is a big deal to get right now. I'm a little bit worried that uh, the leafling over here is gonna catch up. So they're moving it. Maybe it's not the best Dandori to have them all focus on it, but actually maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should do strawberries instead. A little too late then. Here you have you spit it out, send them over there, and then you know what to do. We have a huge lead at the moment, but I wanna keep it that way. So to do that, they're all coming over. A bonus find can help you a lot, I know, I know. So many Pikmin coming over. Ooh, it's gonna be that uh, lime now. Here, one Pikmin over there. These little guys are still giving us double. And then I can maybe overtake that one a little bit. That might be a good idea. There we go, they're moving it over. Come on, trying to throw some Pikmin over there too. And then how are all of our friends doing over that way? It looks like they're all rushing back over there, for better or for worse. Here, let's go ahead and uh, ride our friend. Go like this, go, 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 go. And then, here, charge you. Gotcha. We put it a bonus find, we're about to get a couple more. We do have a really good score at the moment, but over here with less than a minute remaining, we need to throw as many Pikmin over to that as possible. I am going to use Ochi. Oh, to steal that. I don't know if that really does anything, but um, okay, run over here real fast, because it looks like they're trying to cause issues for us. Hey, wait, those are my Pikmin. You can't call my Pikmin. All right, now you're in trouble. Never mind, ow. Um, hey, hey, can I just, wait, I don't understand how this works. Can you steal my Pikmin? Or maybe if they're like unclaimed Pikmin, you can take them? I didn't know it worked that way. That's actually pretty crazy. So, wait, let's go ahead and get this one to you. Come on, got it. Because we are in the lead at the moment, but we gotta keep it that way, so let's face off with Moss, and then, oh, I'm out. Uh, so let's hop off of you, and send you over there, cool. Okay, we got all these Pikmin too. That's sort of good. Only a few seconds remaining now, and this guy's not happy about it. I mean, we're definitely in the lead, I don't think we're gonna lose it at this point with 157 points, but I'm just trying to do everything that I can. Oh my goodness, these are so difficult. But look at this, we were able to stay ahead the whole time this time, and we win. 157 to 75, we get the gold medal. You won by at least 60, so you need to win by at least 60 points, I guess, to get that gold medal. Pretty cool. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. Oh, well, goodbye. But you did turn our friend into a leafling again. Hmm, off they go again. Thankfully, we recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. So we're back out of here with our friend rescued. I just wish we could have uh, saved them before they got turned into this leafy monster. Transport the castaway to the SS Beagle as soon as possible, Zebra and Ochi. All right then, so we gotta organize our Pikmin a little bit here. I would love to go into another cavern. Um, here, why is it only letting me do one? Oh, because I'm already maxed out. Okay, uh, I do not need 40 ice Pikmin, so I will just keep that to 15, because there is some icings I wanna do around here. And we'll do that, that feels pretty good. 
So I guess for now, we can't really bring you over just yet. We need to swim over. So there's a couple things we need to do. We're halfway through this day. Um, I think that, hey, that was just not nice. Here, hold on, come on, come on. So they're out of water for the moment. So I can just, yeah, do that and get rid of you. That's pretty nice. We can't bring you back just yet. Actually, maybe, maybe we can. The water is shallow enough that they can walk around in it, right? No. All right. Uh, switching over to Red Pikmin. I'm just gonna have them work on that. In the meantime, if I go over this way, the water has lowered for this as well. This is where I can um work on the ice stuff here. That's what I really want. So. What's going on in here? Looks like a big melon, but whoa, we got a big friend too. So if I could just freeze him first, and then while that's happening, it didn't quite work, but oh, come on, come on. No, my ice pigment. Uh, no, come on. This is ridiculous. There we go. Now everybody can attack. Go, 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 go. Lower their health. That's it, much better. And we'll try to get some Pikmin to eat the nectar. Ride back on top of you. And have the ice Pikmin try to freeze this stuff now too, so. I think, yeah, Ochi can just ride right through. We get the Hydro Jelly Burst dealt with, and then we can, we need 100 Pikmin? No way. There's no way I can do this one then. So that's just gonna have to stay there. Can I push it? What if I, whoa, I can sort of do that. That'd be a really long time, but I guess in theory if I really wanted to, I could just do that over and over again. I'm not gonna worry about that for now, but it needs 100 Pikmin to move it, so it's quite heavy. But there is more stuff up there. So this is where I really gotta get familiar with the map, because it just seems like there's so much to do. Um, but that was like sort of tucked under. Hmm. I wanna get up there if possible. I bet that's my next big goal before time runs out today. There's just so many scary creatures all over the place. Oh, speaking of which, a new creature discovered over here. Whoa. Where'd you go? There you are. If we can freeze you first and then just charge, it's usually the easiest way to defeat enemies and that's exactly what we did there. So, I see you over here too. I, I guess this is another new creature discovered. I like how we don't have to defeat them, discover them. And boom, this one's really powerful so I'm trying to make the most out of my time but we got them, awesome. With that done, um, whoa, what's going on over here? See, this is where I, I think I should probably just freeze everything. Oh, we need 30 Pikmin now. I'll save that for later, because I, I do not have that many. So how am I getting up there? I think just going around this stuff. The clay bridge is completed. That's amazing, we can bring back our friend in a little bit. I need to not forget that. There's a lot going on out here. So, ooh, ooh, no, come on. That was silly. Uh, Ride, get up here as fast as I can, because up this way, we have a bag to push down. We're taking this dude with 10 red Pikmin real fast. Once they're done with that, we're just hopping into this. That's my goal. There we go, very cool. So paper bag lowered, back into here. We're going to enter the seafloor resort. What beautiful scenery. When I'm surrounded by water, I can't help but feel at one with the sea. Sadly, there aren't many places to land in here, so non-swimming Pikmin aren't able to do much. Pikmin, or at least I got to pretend I was on vacation for a little while, right? I mean, would we find water Pikmin in your blue Pikmin? See, that's where I'm getting really concerned. I would hope so. We're gonna hop into it and see if we can find some blue Pikmin. Um, if not, I'm sort of in trouble. So let's just give it a try. Um, I will keep with mostly, I think, ice Pikmin, right? That might be a better idea. So we're hopping in to this n another seafloor adventure. All right, we've made it. At the least, Ochi should be able to swim around a lot. But I gotta imagine, is that what I'm looking for? Or are those ice Pikmin? I really hope these are blue Pikmin right over here. We're gonna pluck some and find out. They're ice Pikmin, oh my goodness, no. That's okay. It's not that I dislike ice Pikmin, it's that I just desperately need water Pikmin. Um, what's going on with this enemy? This is cool. New creature discovers some kind of crazy jellyfish. I'm gonna throw as many ice Pikmin as I can on top of it. Ooh, it falls and breaks. Let's try to do that over here too. Gotcha. Gotcha. They're working on getting rid of that as well. Okay, everybody come over. Don't panic. Wait, what? We Did we find one? A blue Pikmin. <laughs> I guess we found one. Hey, buddy. We haven't seen Pikmin like this, these before. I wonder if Captain Alomar ever encountered anything like that. 
the blue Pikmin. At a glance, the blue Pikmin appear to have mouth-like gills and are notably able to function even underwater. Thanks to their water resistance and swimming talents, I can now transport things found in the water. Oh. Now we can carry things in the water. Search the water thoroughly. I'm counting on you, Zebra and Ochi. So I did not even see them, but I have five blue Pikmin. They blend in pretty well with the ice Pikmin, but I guess maybe the jellyfish was holding them or something? Not quite sure, but I do have a bunch of ice Pikmin that can work on this. That should be enough. We're gonna just keep chipping away at that, and in the meantime, more blue Pikmin can work on this. Okay, yeah, they're bringing all that back. We need one, two more. And I guess we'll just continue as much as we can. What is going on with that? Huh. I can swim over without you with the adorable doggy paddle, uh, but I can't really reach it from here, so maybe not what I'm supposed to do. We have plenty of other things to figure out, though. There's some enemies over that way that would require normally red Pikmin. Uh, okay. I don't really have that many red Pikmin at the moment, so that is a bit worrisome, but... Hmm. They're gonna keep building this. We might wanna get up and over a different way. Once again, we can swim over with Ochi. What is with this? There's something on the on the ground here. It requires five Pikmin. Let's just use water Pikmin for now and see what it does. Is this like a plug? Whoa! Fishing rope recovered. Huh. So yeah, we'll get our five water Pikmin over there. I don't think this is the best idea, but I can get one Pikmin to fight you like that, and then I can go like this. Oh, watch out for the flames. I did not mean to send all of my Pikmin over. Um, clay valve completed, that's cool. But there's like some sushi over here or something. Okay, what I might just wanna do then is try to freeze them. It gets really difficult though. Oh my goodness, come on, calm over, calm over. Um, if we can freeze you like that, switch over to this next one. Come on, yes. And then fight you. Try to see my Pikmin over this way. I might be losing a couple, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, come on, call, the, call them over. Oh no, one's on fire. And I wanna switch over to you. That should be enough to really damage him down a little bit, I would hope. Ooh, they're frozen, they're frozen, so everybody go at it, go at it, go at it. Come on, come on. Don't let up now, ow! That knocked us back a lot too, so we just need to keep going. Keep calling them back over. The dodge the flame. <laughs> this is so much more difficult without the right kind of Pikmin. But there we go, we finally got you. And that means I can now deal with that up there. So yeah, any Pikmin should be able to bring it at least down here. And then once that happens, what I probably wanna do, go to our pack and use this ever so useful idler's alert to call over some of the Pikmin. I mean, that might not have been the best idea in hindsight because yeah, a lot of them will not be able to make it through the water very well. Um, here. Let's just do that for now. I guess my goal then should be to, I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to get you. That's most of them, except for the two that are over there. If we can find more water Pikmin though, that'd be amazing. What do I do about this? Uh, that seems like it's working. Ooh, there we go. But I don't think the ice Pikmin will be able to make it over. Yeah, they get a little confused, so. Maybe I just need to look around for more water Pikmin and hope that they're here. Okay, let's pull over whoever we can, like this. Got it. And then look around the rest of this area. There's gotta be some more water Pikmin around. We can get them the bloom though. Hooray! <laughs> awesome. Okay, heading back over here then. These sprinklers were turned off, which makes it much easier. Is this a reinforced wall? Oh, there is more blue Pikmin over there. Oh, no, we can bust through that, no problem. Awesome. Okay. Going for you then. Gotcha, pretty good. We're just gonna fall in the little pieces. We got more of that uh, spicy jelly. I wanna jump down there then as soon as possible, get more of these water Pikmin. That's gonna be five more. So I'll have 10 in total. That's pretty workable. So are we in? Like, I'm looking around in the environment now. I guess we're in some kind of aquarium. Whoa, that's cool. So I guess we need to use this to hop way back up. And I don't want to use anything too crazy there. So I need a lot of that stuff for later, but there's two more pieces of that. Heading over here, I want to break this open a little bit. 
and that should be good enough if we break through it. With Ochi, we get ourselves another Flarlet. That's great. So we're making progress with some stuff. Um, I think for the most part, yeah, I wanna get my 10 Water Pikmin back so that they can work on getting this over here. All right then, so. I like how they make it, it's 100 Ice Pikmin that freeze this, this uh, water just so that you can't do it that way. There we go, oh, she's gonna heal up. And then once we're uh, done with transporting all of this stuff, I think that means we just have to go get those sushi pieces. Okay, we've got the flower like. That's gonna be really useful for later. 4,800 sparkling collected as well. We're trying to work towards 7,000, so we're slowly getting there. Okay, we've got the flower like. We'll bring it to the onion on the surface. So, one, two, three, four, five. We will go over here too and try to one, two, three, four, five. Once we do that, that should be everything. <laughs> All right, Ochi's feeling pretty good. We can see sub level, level ones at 71%. I think that once these get through, it'll be much faster. So what I can do is that now that it'll be on the surface, we can like throw a bunch of other Pikmin over to help. Okay, they should get out of the water. There you go, oh no. So, new treasure collected and the second one's coming in right here. I don't see anything else to do around here though, so I think we did a good job clearing it all out. Okay, so, treasure collected. We're at 100% for the sub-level, so we have all of our Pikmin back. We are going to hop up here, charge forward, and move to the next sub-level for the C4 Resort. Yep, let's keep it moving. This is pretty good so far. I'm so glad that we found blue Pikmin. Here we are at sub-level two, deeper in this little aquarium. I do see some ice Pikmin over there. Oh, and that scary crab again. Huh? There must be a castaway nearby. I suppose so. What is that? Um, is that like a water sprinkler? Oh, well, we're beating it up, so I'll just keep going with that. Oh, bubbles. Okay, uh, let's try to pop those bubbles in. Oh my goodness, whoa. That's sort of weird. How do I call that one Pikmin back? They're a little too far over. I don't know, I'm a little worried. Uh, oh, okay, it eventually popped. That's cool. So we could face off with you soon enough. I figure I still only have the one red Pikmin, which hasn't been so helpful. Ooh, let's get a bunch of ice Pikmin over here. Got it, got it, got it. And then this is doing its crazy bubble stuff. We'll wait for it to be done. And then just go crazy on this and get as many Pikmin on it as we possibly can just to break it super fast so that nobody gets bubbled up. This enemy is once again gonna be a bit of an issue. If we could get it to attack like that and then throw a bunch of ice Pikmin on it to really make sure it gets frozen. Oh, come on, come on. Call them all over. Right before they get torched there. Okay, now we go. Just like this, boom, do a ton of damage. The rest of the Pikmin should be able to finish it off. There they go. So I think there's probably a couple of blue Pikmin that would need to be bloomed up. I guess not, okay. And it looks like they delivered this stuff over here. That's good. So, I see a couple of adorable rubber duckies over that way that we definitely wanna help out with. And then we'll go over to this one too. And as soon as they're both frozen, We'll charge up, go right through the both of them, and make sure that we have them collected so that they can come with us. These are really cute. So, oh, whoa, whoa, that's scary. There's like a monster under them. What do I do? Can I charge them? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. This thing is horrifying. Um, it's like this gross, creepy spider. Come on, come on, gotcha. So I knocked that enemy out. I have to do the same thing to that one in a moment. Here, let's go ahead and tackle you like this. Oh, and they're all going for you. That makes quick work of you. Awesome, so yeah, let's first focus on the rubber duckies. Call those guys back. So with those two rubber duckies being called in, we are going to swim over this way and grab some more ice Pikmin. Just because, you know, there's still power in numbers, even if we don't. Oh, I see, the castaway is in that jellyfish over there. So we'll have to go save them. Maybe a couple of uh, ice picking can make the most out of this nectar, definitely. 
So I'll have to wait for them to come back or something um, for this thing. Or I can just uh, use my pack and do the idlers alert again. Here they come. And as soon as we got them, we're just gonna use two of them over here. And then I guess go to some other sections. So, got it. Have, no, 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 not you guys. You guys, awesome. So let's go and swim to this section. I'll have the one fire pick and fight you, but <laughs> I really should have gotten more. It sort of tricked me with that, though. Come on, come on, just keep throwing more and maybe we could freeze him before he, yeah, he does his attack. And then we can just go like this. Ooh, that's it. That seems like a pretty effective strategy though, so I'm happy about that. We will get as many of these Pikmin to bloom as possible and then have them all focus on this. Yep, there we go. And that should break it up pretty quick. And then underneath that, you have one of those sticks you can climb up. I don't know if we need every single Pikmin to do that. Uh, actually, I definitely don't. Oh, but it permanently lowers it. Okay, I thought it was like only when there's Pikmin standing on it or something. So that's another big rubber ducky. Before we start bringing that back though, I think we need to focus on these creepy creatures over here. Oh, they're blocking us. Oh, they're blocking us. We gotta be very careful about that, but as many ice Pikmin as possible as they throw out all the bubbles. Boom, we did a bunch of damage here. All of our friends are busted out of the bubbles, so we're able to defeat another creature. They get as many of the ice Pikmin to get more nectar and then we can focus on this. So I think we can hop up, right? Uh, not quite. Anyways, we only need 10 Pikmin for it. So that should do the trick. There it is. All right, in the meantime, I wanna grab all my water Pikmin back. Should be seven of them over here. What else is there to do around here? We have, once again, one of these flaming monsters. Okay. Come on, come on. We're just gonna charge you with everything I got. Boom, just like that. That should finish you off without too much of an issue. Great. And then once this bubbler is done, bubbling, I'll toss a bunch of Pikmin over to it, as many as I can. Got it. Just another thing dealt with, destroyed. Okay, I think it was just that one Pikmin that needed the nectar. And our water Pikmin can deal with that part. Cool. Oh, and there's a little thing over here too. We just need one Pikmin for that. <laughs> this is a tiny little button. Now what's the deal with this thing? I think if we all break it, it should sort of free up this little air booster, allowing us all to get over a bit more easily. Hooray! Okay, everybody get over. We'll get boosted up and I'll start focusing on you. This thing is crazy looking. What's weird is we haven't really ran into any boss fights in this game just yet. <laughs> There we go, that was really good. So we have a lot of stuff to save here. Let's go ahead and hop off our front, dismount, and to send out whoever, wherever, to get them back to where they're supposed to be. And then one more Pikmin right over here. Okay, so it looks like it needs to be water Pikmin for this group. That's okay, here, nope, get you guys back. One, two, three. We got a little button there, interesting. So I think that once we save our friend here, that might be everything in this area. I don't see too much else. But I guess we'll see soon enough. They are being brought over from somewhere. I don't see where they are at the moment. Hmm. Jump back onto Ochi. I really don't see any other collectibles. So I think with that, we're in the clear. Just, I'm guessing, yeah, they're trying to get over to here. Oh, there you are. So if we throw more water Pikmin on you, that should definitely help move that a little bit faster. There you go. Five of them is way better. So once that's up there, we'll be able to see for ourselves. Do we have everything in this area? They'll get zipped up. Hello? Let's check the ID card. So who do we say this time? It's Francois. Research task force recruit. Hompana is Uji. For years, this scholar has been working to achieve his lifelong dream, reaching mutual understanding with plant life. Interesting. The research task force. I had no idea there were researchers stranded here too. I guess so. So, there's that done. Um, and once again, we'll check. We're at 75%, so there is still something around here. Ooh, I see some stuff way, way out there. Okay, we found some of these little octopus things before. I didn't realize we could go this far. That's pretty crazy. So, one, two, and then one, two. 
so sneaky putting them way out there like that. But hopefully that's enough. I will keep throwing more Pikmin at them, I guess. Just to uh, speed it up a little bit. And then over to this one too. There we go, that should really help them move. Okay, you two are left behind, that's okay. With those two zipped in, I can only imagine I'm looking out at the edge now and I don't see too much more. So we really gotta get a good grip on our surroundings. Now we're at 100%, very cool. So I will charge off over here. Ow, sorry Ochi. Jump over this and just head to the next level or maybe this is, this can't be the exit. So it's gotta be the next sub level. All right, we are hopping in. See, I think two down, maybe even two to go. Cause I think the last one was 25%, so we'll see in a moment. Yep, we're heading to sub level three, we're only halfway through, so there's definitely two more sub levels. Okay, we're back here. Ooh, I do see a lot of new stuff. Some enemies under the water there too. A little bit scary, but we might just wanna go deal with that first. Cause we can just send a bunch of Pikmin over to you. I'm a little nervous with it being near the bubbler. I feel like that might cause us some issues. So if I could just, whoa, watch it, watch it. Yeah, focus on you, like this, and then throw the water Pikmin over. Oh, not the ice Pikmin though. I mean, they'll just sit there, so it's not too big of a deal. Come on, keep working on it. No, some of them actually did die to that though. Ooh, that's really not good. So that means we're only down to four water Pikmin? Could I restart just this? What happens if I rewind time? Uh, yeah, the start of the sub level. That would be nice. Uh, sure. But would I have? Yeah, I'd have 10 water Pikmin. Okay, I might do that really quickly. This is the first time I'm using this feature because especially now we don't have any way to get those Pikmin back. So I'd like to be very careful. I'll save that enemy for later then. There's a couple of them around too, so. Huh, I mean, if I can find some more water Pikmin, that'd be great. But that's why I think we just need to explore some older areas and see if we can't find any more onions so we can produce more than just red Pikmin. But I just feel like that's gonna become an ongoing issue. Oh, I do see some water Pikmin way down there. So, dirt wall demolished. Um, Let's grab this whole group to jump onto Ochi. And then, yeah, do this. That should be good, one more. Nice. So with all that figured out, we will go over here, try to destroy this thing before it bubbles up. Hopefully we can do it in time, it's gonna be close. Oh no, ooh, sorry. There we go, we're able to get them all out of there pretty easily though. But down that way, I really wanna get to those other Pikmin. So I might just wanna dismount and then disband. It's a little scary, but no, 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 no. Okay guys, you're so silly, it's not what I wanted. Um, They'll all just stay there. Let me pluck the water Pikmin before this monster notices us, that new creature discovered, but we'll just move our way over here and we should be okay. Okay, yep. And we're still sort of under the water there, it's hard to notice. But I will call everybody else over and ride you and go over this way. There's plenty more water, but I can get a sneak up attack on you before you really notice it too much. Uh-oh, their friend's coming over too though, very scary. Ooh, you know what, I don't even need it. I'll just go for you then. Ooh, freezy fast, freezy fast. Okay, throw everybody we can over then. Really do a number on you because you're about to break open. There we go, that was crazy. So that was pretty nice overall though. Let's make sure that our water Pikmin are as boosted up as possible. It looks like they are. And up here, oh, we got another one. Let it bubble for a bit. And then we're just gonna go for it. Come on, gotcha. And I think we just have to, it's a little awkward, I'm trying to, that worked, that worked, cool. I'll save you real fast, and what is this thing? Oh, it's creepy. We would need 20 blue Pikmin. I don't have that many, so hopefully we can find some more soon. Hmm, there's gotta be more around, I can only hope. I mean, obviously we have a couple more of the ones that I had before here, but I think this would only have us up to 15. That's just where I'm a bit nervous. Can I just, okay, I can't just run over that. That would have been very nice, but I guess we'll just dismount Ochi here and send the whole crew over to start working on that. Really shouldn't take them too long. 
And I do see a lot going on around here. We're, we're gonna keep busy, for sure. But, uh, oh no, uh, ride Ochi. They're gonna fix up that bridge, which we'll use just to sort of get around later, I think. And are those enemies down there, or are those treasures? I think those are treasures. Hard to tell. I can't really reach it without being off of Ochi, though. So I think what we'll do, we'll get up here like this. I'll dismount. I don't know why they all immediately ran into the water. Disband. And only. I oh, know. No, come on. Really? Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to get them to disband. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, my goodness. That's the worst. Okay, as soon as this is done making bubbles, we'll throw all of our blue Pikmin over to deal with that first. And it should make it quick work. Awesome. Now, I want to face off with you, but I'm very nervous about that. Here, ready? Just go for it. Send everybody we can over. But as soon as they do that, oh no! We lost a couple. So they send like puffer fish quills out, which is pretty crazy. So this is a tough enemy. I'm losing more of them. I might have to reset this whole thing again, which would be very, very upsetting. I'm losing all my Pikmin from that, yeah. There are more Pikmin to find under here, though. So I think I just have to avoid that enemy because I don't know how to beat them. Okay, I mean, it looks like we beat them there, but that's sort of the problem, right? Is that I need way more than just a couple of them like that. I don't know. Is This doesn't feel right, because now we need how many more blue Pikmin? Nine more to get that one thing. I don't think we'll be able to find that throughout this whole area. That's just where this game's being a little weird with this how the pacing works. I know that it's cool that you can sort of find anything at any time, but because of that, the stuff I really need, I'm looking for, but running into everything else first. So let me go here, I'll rewind time again, if it'll let me. I'm going to the wrong place, here we go. Rewind time, and try this again. So I don't know too much what to do here to deal with them, besides just being very, very careful. So I'm just gonna walk around here, pluck these five water Pikmin, and that gets us up to 19. So we're, no, no, we got 20, 20, okay, cool. So maybe I can work on this now. We have a couple of things to grab. Oh, they're like the little toothpicks. Huh, neat. You'd think we'd be able to use those to fight this guy, but no. Um, so those are gonna get brought over. I see these that we might be able to bring out of there really quickly. I'm just trying to be very careful about this enemy. Uh, please don't bother us, please don't bother us. Nice, okay, he left us on. So we're gonna get all of this delivered now too. Trying to avoid the other Pikmin because I do need to do some more underwater stuff before I even bother with any of that other thing. So grab these three and then we'll, we'll have to run over and get the teeth too. It's pushing the, the ice Pikmin out of the way which is not really what I want. We yeah, new treasure collected. We have 20 water Pikmin here. Oh my goodness, I knew that was gonna happen. I guess it's actually not too big of a deal now. Um. There we go, got all that. Did I have to redo this? Yes, I do, okay, so let me uh, switch to the off of, oh gee, which is the faster button for that? I might have to figure that out soon. Um, there we go, they're gonna worry about that. We're heading over here, because there's plenty more for us to do. I wanna focus, now that we have the 20 blue Pikmin that we need, on those dentures, those weird teeth. I think that just might be the most worthwhile thing I can tackle. So, get up here, because it has to bring it through the water, so I think it's, it has to be 20 blue Pikmin. Even for that tiny little spot it dips down to here. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. What's inside of the uh, the tall grass over this way? Anything? Nothing. We get the check, though. Yeah, it's not really saying on the thing that there is the, the treasure tracker. Now the unfortunate thing is, is we need those water pigments back to get all that stuff. Was there something more around here? Not really. Okay, so how are we doing so far? We're at 55% through the sub-level. I guess I'll have to hop off of Ochi here. What does it say? Check out missions to find your next, next task. I think I got it. Right now it's definitely focusing on this thing. Ooh, come on, if I can freeze it, that's gonna be the biggest thing. If we freeze them, then they just fall. Oh my goodness. Whoa, give me my Pikmin back, please. New treasure collected, that's pretty big. But um, we also get 5,500 Sparklium, so it really good stuff there. I feel like we're missing a lot of Pikmin now. I guess we 
We lost some of them in that battle. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Hard to tell. Okay. So, wait for that to bubble up, and then throw as many as I can. And they should get the trick done. There we go. Awesome. I did see, of course, there's that, but there's also some treasure over there, too. What about this wall? Okay, that's gonna be the exit for us, so we'll do that soon enough. I do see a toothbrush over there. There's stuff all over the place. All right, so this might be better to do once we get Ochi over here, too, but actually, I don't really see a way for Ochi to get over. Both of them have walls. That's a bit odd. We'll save it for later, though. If we can just get Aubra Pikmin over, and start working on this. This enemy should be pretty easy. And so we just gotta freeze him, they'll fall, and we get it. Ooh, so, none of the Pikmin need the nectar too much. I guess we'll focus on this button first. Nice. And what does that do? It lowers the wall. Okay, cool. Some of them over there. Call all of these ice Pikmin over too. And start working on the bubbler. Okay, just go for it. Because eventually the bubbles pop. It's not like the fire or the water ones where they could actually take damage from it, it seems. Okay, and one, two, three, four. That should be good. We're making some nice progress then. We still need a few more. There we go. Everybody go help so that I can focus on some other things. So there's a huge collection of Pikmin over here just waiting for us. I think for now, that's probably gonna be one of our last treasures, except for that one that was under the water. So if I could just cancel that, disband. They still follow me because they didn't listen. Uh, disband. I want to... Just get the blue Pikmin, perfect. Okay. With the blue Pikmin, I mean, I'll do that just in case like the enemy's tracked, but I do not want to fight them right now. I have no interest in doing that. We just want to get over here and take this thing. I'm just really nervous about the fish attacking, but it should turn around soon. There it goes, there it goes. So, they're gonna work on that. I will send a bunch of our water Pikmin over this way, and that gets most of them. So that's pretty cool. Oh no, oh no, 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 leave him alone, leave him alone. Be nice. Oh my gosh. So that's at least good. We're gonna get all the attention of these Pikmin now. Okay, get everybody back over. And then, where's Ochi at? Ochi's still where I left them, but we're getting closer. I know I'm not doing this in the most Dan Dory way possible, but it's really difficult. Okay, no wait, you really wanna go over there. Okay. I'll let you do it then. I guess I'll be the one little Pikmin that gets the other two. I hope they can make it. But did it lower the, it lowered the gate over there too. So that's actually perfect. Cause if we take a look, we got 100% completed here at the sub level, but there was still another collection of, um, yeah, little treasures to get over there that I would like to try to get. I think that'd be a good idea. So I will ride Ochi, jump over this wall and start working on this too. Right over this way. They should be able to get all that done. And once they do, it might take them a second, but that should be for real everything on the C4 uh, re resort sub-level three. That was really tough. It was mostly that one fish that was making everything a nightmare, but it was still really tough. We're going to go ahead and charge like this. Boom. Oh, there's gonna be even more of them. Okay, great. So, more raw material. And it's important for us to get every single piece of this because there's just so much stuff to get with it. So yeah, let's, uh. okay, they're gonna get it. Once they do, so that's like five more. I think we're good. We can actually just like wait and see them <laughs> go do it. I really didn't see anything more left to find. So, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay, we're at 141 in total. We are heading to the fourth and final sub-level of the C4 Resort. All right, here we go. The final one. This took us a while to get through, but oh my, that's a big frog. Huh? There must be a castaway nearby. Two castaways? Because we already found one. Interesting, there's two castaways in one thing. Okay, so we'll pluck out some more. 
Blue Pikmin over here. Glad to be getting those. And then with that, we'll launch way back up here. So we have 25 blue Pikmin in total. Oh, and we can convert some. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of uh, Pikmin to choose from, except for ice Pikmin, so I think we'll do that. I wish I brought more red Pikmin. That would've been a good idea. <laughs> oh, it can only give me five, so I think that's a fair conversion. So we'll keep plucking some stuff here. And I guess we'll move into this. Oh, we can get some more from over here too. There's a, there's a gate that says one over there. I'm guessing we need to, uh, I guess get one enemy to feed it or something. There we go. So we'll pluck these two so that we can get five more water Pikmin and hope that that's enough. But between them and the ice Pikmin, I feel like we'll have a, a good thing going on. So there we go. Our 75 Pikmin are ready to fight this big guy. Oh man, new creature discovered. Uh, we'll start with ice Pikmin. If we can get you frozen, we get into with everything else pretty well. And it seems like circling around them is a really good strategy. Boom, that got you good. All of our Pikmin are going crazy on you, but you're about to break out of that ice. Let's call all of our Pikmin back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not the super frog slam. Oh, that was scary. Okay, keep it going now. Oh no, oh no. Pikmin come back. No, I think some of them got squished. I'm so sorry. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. We almost have you beat, and there we go. That was a crazy fight, but we find a way through it. Awesome. Okay, so the gate is now open, and on top of that, we can uh, bloom some of these water pigmen, whoever needs it. And then, yeah, just get them to carry that over. Nice. And there's a couple more blue pigmen waiting for us over here too, so that seems like a nice little reward. Let's pluck these. I am a little curious about what's going on over there. Um, it looks like I might be able to, yeah, do this. All right, and now start pulling it. Whoa, what do we get? Oh, there's the person, okay. So we're saving them. Oh no, some of the Pikmin are falling. That's okay. If they get lost, I think we can just sort of zip away with them later, so we should be fine. And that will be, I think, 100% completed once we save them. I don't see much else to do around here, but that was still really cool. Oh wait, there's more water Pikmin to get. So here is another castaway saved. What's this ID badge say? This is a research task force recruit Petunia, home planet Ogura. Highly focused and intelligent, she joined the team to investigate mysterious creatures through her unconventional methods. Kopji. To investigate mysterious creatures. She must have come to study the Pikmin and other unusual wildlife here. All right, that was very cool. So that really should be, yeah, 100% here for C4 Resort. If I swim over this way, we'll get the remaining blue Pikmin that we can find here. I don't see any other potential treasures, so I think we'll just be able to head home with that. So that's great. Now we're up to uh, 82 Pikmin found throughout all this. Pretty good. We're definitely leaving with more than we came in with, so and I guess that's something. So I think they should all be brought with us regardless of if they're on Ochi at the moment. Let's see. Back to the surface, Pikmin currently outside your squad will come with you. All right, let's go. So that was a really challenging one, but we have fully completed a C4 Resort. Hooray! So now we all get to leave. It's been quite the long adventure today. So two uh, rescues remain with Francois and Petunia. And they're both part of the research, research task force unit. And look at all the treasures here. We'll take a look at all the treasures at the end of the day, so I won't scroll through them too much at the moment. Okay, an investigation complete. That will be 100% for us. Amazing stuff. We're back out on the surface. There's still some time to do some stuff here, I think. Not a lot of time, but oh yeah, we found that floor light. So we can have more Pikmin to our disposal. Very nice. The number of Pikmin you can withdraw increased by 10 again. This makes me want to feed that onion even more. <laughs> Me too. So, what? Why can't these Pikmin come out? Ah, according to the voyage log, only three types of Pikmin can be out on the surface at any given time. Uh, eh? That makes things complicated. They really have developed a lot of protective traits to keep their species from getting totally wiped out. Huh, I don't know if I like that too much, but um, I guess for right now, we'll keep, let's see, 20, 20, and then maybe just 10 red Pikmin. I haven't seen anything that really requires yellow Pikmin, so. 
We can maybe build up a reserve of them at some point, but only a few seconds remaining, so no, we're actually running out of time. Um, That's not good. We gotta go home, which is that way. Okay, so let's not waste any time then. So I guess, you know, the passage of time was happening, of course, while we were in there. Even at like one sixth of time, it really does go by fa fast. But did we ever save that person that was over there? I think we did. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> a little too late for today if it's not the case, but that's okay. I did what I could regardless. I mean, I get, oh, I can still see them over there. No, that stinks. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll just go over there some other day to save them. We did a lot today though. So I got not too bummed about it. We still rescued two people. And if it's anything like the previous leafling we've saved, they just sort of lay there anyway. So we can't really do much with them just yet. All right, so off we go. I'm glad we were able to at least make it here before the time ran out. We've made it back to our growing crowd of friends. Didn't know if we were really gonna make it this time, but it was quite tough. But I definitely don't wanna return to that area until maybe I get some better like onion stuff, I think. But we got Francois and Petunia saved. Um, we got Pub Drive up by two. And look at all this stuff coming in. So now we'll read through all the treasures we found. So we got ourselves here some creatures saved, we got the nuggets, we got the greed inducement device, the brush of foolishness, the monster teeth, the mystery squish fish, the spirit sword, octopus, trap lid, dapper blob, universal rubber cutie, planetary rubber cutie, maestro of flavor, maternal sculpture, sun seed berry, false lollipop, and stellar extrusion. Amazing. So we're now 25% sent through Serene Shores. We'll be working on getting farther in that eventually, but. So this ultra spicy nectar, with a color like that, it even looks spicy. Well, hey. It is the main ingredient in ultra spicy spray after all. Wanna try a lick? Marvel. Hmm, oh why not? If only for quality control purposes, I wouldn't want to provide my rescue officers with a faulty product. Uh. Now let's give it a try. Oh. Hmm? Uh. Yeah. Ooh. Watch out. Guess it's pretty spicy. I'm glad I wasn't the one who liked it, licked it. But look how fast you're moving. Just think, with this, you could get twice the amount of work done in half the time. Hmm, eh. perhaps. But I think ingesting this nectar directly poses some significant risks. Maybe you gotta put it on some food or something. Um, well, we did make some good progress. We didn't quite get anything fully completed, I don't think, because we got the all, all the Little Darlings one completed, which I guess we didn't read this one. I'm excited to learn all about the creatures of this planet. Let me know when you encounter new species. It would be a dream come true to record every last one of them in the Picklepedia. So maybe we did, maybe we didn't, I don't know. Rescue mission, day seven. All right. So we'll be catching up with some people who are here soon enough. But that will mostly be saved for another time. Whoa, who is that? Did somebody else crash land overnight? Eddie. The rescue command post was getting a bit crowded, so we started cr clearing a new area when we came upon something odd. A spaceship in disrepair. Monster. Huh, it's clearly missing its captain. Is this Almar's ship? They're probably out there, uh, out there somewhere in need of rescue. We'll do our best to find them. Boy. I almost forgot. We also found some raw materials while establishing the new area. Please put them to good use. Will do, so we're at the 161 so far. You're brimming with pup drive, OG. Yes, you are. So we'll, we'll go and deal with that soon enough. I think the one thing I do wanna look at for right now is just like our new ID badges that we found. So we got some for Dalmo, Francois, and Petunia. Cool to see that. And then um, our rescue journal has some updates. Number two for the Shepherd family history. We've done it at last. We have flown to space out in this great limitless, limitless expanse. Not a sound can be heard. And yet I can still clearly hear the pounding in my own heartbeat. Space, how it overflows with possibilities. There can be no doubt. This one giant leap forward for our kind. Ed Shepherd, 65th captain. And then the captain's diary, interesting. The previous captain, my father, was the very definition of generous. When a rescue call came in, he'd zoom off without a moment's hesitation. Once the mission was complete, he'd refuse to accept payment from whoever he rescued. He did this one mission after another, and now, due to this generosity, the rescue corps is pretty much broke. Irma Shepard, captain in command. And then finally, we got two more over here, Snack Catch. When you rescue pup, 
or your rescue pup has earned a treat, approach your pal and then A, use A to throw them a bone. And then number 11, bait and switch. If you have a bomb in your hand when a giant critter is about to attack, pull a bait and switch to leave them with a the bomb to eat rather than you. Wow, that's so crazy. So right as they're about to attack, you just, you just give it to them and ooh, that must hurt. Um, beyond that, of course, we have some voyage, voyage log stuff from Alamar. Is any of it new though? The blue Pikmin. Yeah, I think that we read this one. Um, and then the Pikmin songs. Sometimes when they're in a pleasant mood, the Pikmin will start to sing a little tune. Feeling inspired, I tried to join in until they went noticeably silent. I suppose my singing doesn't appeal to their musical tastes. <laughs> Interesting. The ultra spicy berries. Upon closer inspection, I was shocked to discover that an ultra spicy berry contains a large quantity of ultra spicy essence. I've collected one bottle's worth of nectar from 10 berries, but what do I do with it? This stuff is way too hot for us sweet tooth occupations. And then, uh, Sightless Patches we saw, C4 Resort we saw, Poisonous Oxygen. The atmosphere on this planet contains large amounts of poisonous oxygen. I doubt that my spacesuit's life support system can hold out for more than a few days now. Maybe if I had a leaf, like Moss or the Pikmin, what a silly thought. <laughs> Maybe that is the key. Interesting. So. Very neat stuff going on there, but I think that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pikmin 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.